And now, Phillipsburg Broadcasting proudly presents Good Morning, Mr. Governor, with Francis Cardi. Good morning, Mr. Governor. Stop the politics to make room for policies. If there's anything that our old politicians have learned well over the years, it is how to make their competing politicians look bad, especially when the looking bad will hurt them and the island's entire population. The politicking started immediately after the island's lockdown was declared over. And to make it worse, Holland joined with its austerity measures by demanding that salaries of civil servants be lowered by 12.5% and from private employees by 20%. This double whammy approach to negative politicking not only preoccupied the government's time with public sector union demands, but it also disabled present coalition government from attending to policies that they wished to implement and keep the island government apparatus together. So to listen to the opposition UD faction in Parliament lament about this government doesn't know what it's doing, it is almost hilarious when in fact the entire confusion was orchestrated by the very opposition who is busy sabotaging the existing government. This is crude and unenlightened politics because it is aimed to the very electorates that they would need to gain a majority in Parliament. One of the weirdest facts about politics is today it's your turn and tomorrow it will be mine. Whatever gimmicks that are used to sabotage this government will eventually be used by others to sabotage your government whenever you are in government. Therefore, it pays to do what's good, work together, and stop playing games with our people's opportunities. So rather than doing everything to bring this government down, we urge the UD members in Parliament to stop its negative interruptions and assist by compromising on those things that will restore normalcy back in the public workforce as well as in the private sector when the economy begins to operate again. Good morning, Mr. Governor. That was Good Morning, Mr. Governor by Francis Cardi.